Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Dimensions. Okay, so we are back with the other team. Um, I kind of prefer this team as well. I did actually take... I didn't do any grinding, but I did take the time to apply all that job points since they were stacking up, so here's where we're at. I dumped all of Nox points into Red Mage because I'm eventually going to make him a... a Seer and a... Magus? I can't remember, but we don't have the class that I want him to be yet, so I might as well work towards that sweet double cast, right? Then we've got Diana, and I stuck all of her points into Monk because she's already reached the prerequisite um, Warrior 7. Whoops. Warrior 7, she's reached the prerequisite of Monk 13, and then we're going to dump all of her future points into Dragoon. She's going to be a Dragoon. She's going to be our Dragoon. Um, and yeah, that'll unlock a bunch of really cool abilities for her. The 13 Monk one is White Wind, so that's going to be a very useful ability. And Alba, I've dumped her points into Monk as well, because she's going to be our Dark Knight. Which is kind of good that Alba and Diana are going to be our Dragoon and Dark Knight the duo. Um, but yeah, then we come to Glaive, who I've gone hard into Black Mage, and I'll probably max out his Black Mage before anything else. Then I might go into Red Mage if we don't have um, Seer or Magus yet. I'm basically going full magic with him. He's got eight points into Warrior, so you know. But yeah, that's where we're at. Anyway, let's continue on. So... We got brought here by Prince Adrian of Elfheim, the Elf Prince, after the death of Gramps. Um, if you guys aren't caught up, I would go back and watch the previous episodes. But yeah, back to the weak team, which sucks, because like an episode or two of this, and I'm probably going to have to grind a whole bunch again. Although, based on that, we're still pretty strong, so that's a good sign. Ah. Where am I freaking going? <laughs> I gotta say, I really don't like having a team of people that aren't all over 2,000 health. It's a bit of a worry. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm assuming this is where we gotta go. Kurgus. This is Kurgus. How'd you ever get here? That's a good question. Now stop asking questions. All them rumours about half the world packing up and leaving true? I don't know, man. You're asking the wrong guy. Dwarves? What you be wanting with those bearded midgets? That's not okay. Don't say stuff like that. If you be looking for dwarves, head up to the hall. Ain't been there since I was about your age, though. Hi, potion. Nothing. Give me that sweet match. I'm going to assume that means we've bought everything. If I'm going to make Noct go... Red Mage... Hard. That should include the white magics, like Hura and stuff, so we should be okay. Never mind, I'm just tripping out. You them strangers looking for the dwarves? Yeah, sure, they, they be just past Umberwood. But don't do it. My pa went in there and never came back. We're gonna go find your pa as well. My pa? Your pa. Five hundred bucks. Wish I could just walk behind somebody's house and check a pot and five five hundred bucks. I need five hundred bucks. Everybody needs five hundred bucks. 
Okay, okay, what do we got here? Well, so far, we've got everything. Oh. Crap. I should not have done that. Okay. And what do we got? Steel shield, large shield, magic hat, headgear, chainmail, silver, haberk. Headgear. Um, I think she's good. Headgear. Hoberk. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, man. Um, Magician's hat. I think you're actually good. Battle boots. Well, I'm glad you've got the battle boots, buddy. Alright, good. We're, we're pretty much stocked up. Alright, let's talk to people. Kyrgyz here, be called the Forgotten Land. Why? The woodland up north of here be called Umberwood. No good hunting to be had there, though. Best stay clear. I mean, that's where the dwarves are, and 100% where we're going. Ma said to stay out of Umberwood. Those dwarf folk sure do look friendly enough, but their hearts be colder than a harmonian slave girl's toes. Yuck, dude! What the hell kind of... Analogy is that? That's not okay. <laughs> like, what the hell? A slave girl's toes? Why would you know how cold those are? And what is the implication that you're saying by... Uh, you know what? Just know, I'm backing away. <laughs> Speak Kyrgyz. How you ever get here? That's a good question. I'll answer it by walking away immediately. All them... Ah, uh, we've been here. Um, that means we gotta go to the inn, and have we been in here yet? We have not. Mahabi says that the Black Knight up in the forest is really the ghost of someone who died in the catastrophe. Don't be heading up to Umberwood. The ghost of a Black Knight be haunting the cursed place. I'm a going. That's gonna make me want to go more. What if, what if he's friend? What if he gives us his armor or his weapon? Like, come on, man. And also a black knight. That sure sounds dark knightish. And I sure could use a rift. Oh no. Last time we tried to do that, we were way underpowered. Although, hmm. Is there anything in the notes? There is not. Okay, good. I'll be taking that. I think we're good, honestly. I think it might be time to just go to Umberwood. Um, probably save, though. Do that savey good, then good thing. Have a savey good time. Maybe we should have rested at the end. I'm gonna rest at the inn. Hey buddy, it's sleepy time. Okay, off to Umberwood. Oh, I wasn't expecting to be here this quickly. Okay. This is giving me Tagwood vibes as well. I can't remember what that forest is in Breath of Fire 1 either. The one on the way to Romero, or the one just past Romero? I can't remember. But yeah, between Tag Woods and the Romero Woods. 
definitely getting a vibe. I'll take $2,000. Why not? Yeah, I'm starting to get a feeling that, uh... Might have to do some solid grinding soon. I don't know if I'm gonna get five episodes in tonight if I've got to grind up for this one. But I guess we'll see. I gotta say, I do like the girl characters in this Final Fantasy. Diana, Alba, Sarah, they're all good characters. Oh. Let's not do that. Not when there's treasure to be had. Oh my god, blood fangs? Oh god. Um, it might be a bit strong for us. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do a, do a grind session after this episode, which sucks, because I did want to get the five in. But I also want to live. And not wake up at midday tomorrow. Hmm. I think it might be time for you to heal the whole team then, Noct. I'm glad that you can use Cura, too. That'll do. You really need more MP, buddy. Honestly. Oh. Okay. D did you see that? It appeared to be the ghost of a long dead knight. Doubtful. True, false, I don't care. Just don't let it curse me. Hear that, Diana? She's even less grounded than I thought. I don't know. He didn't seem evil to me, just sad. Hmm. Well, that way looks like progress, so let's head back this way. Hopefully this isn't just a Lost Woods scenario. Okay, good. Ooh, a Mithril Armlet. Okay, who's the weakest? <laughs> Glaive, can you equip the Mithril Armlet? No. No one can equip it. Well, you're all terrible. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Still, this is shaping up to be a pretty good team. Fang Puller. I mean, a Dragoon and a Dark Knight? That's gonna be frickin' boss. And while I doubt that I will max every job class, I will probably max a couple. So apparently there's some pretty nasty post-game stuff that I haven't read into, so I don't want to spoil too much if I can. Damn, dude, these freaking mushrooms are strong AF. Ooh, a Lotus Strike. Kill everybody again, please. That'll do. You need more MP, buddy, honestly. Ooh, a high potion. Mm -hmm. Oh, a wise choice. Oh, Gaia gear. 
that sounds like a good thing. I'm gonna give it to you, Glaive, because you probably have the weakest defense out of everybody now. People think this place is freaking haunted. Oh my god, look at Glaive right now. I want to be a pile of blankets with a hat like that. Especially if that skull is his friend, instead of, you know, a curse. Probably need to heal again, but we can wait a little bit longer. Ooh, a remedy. I mean, that probably means we're going the right way, right? A cottage? Probably should have healed, in retrospect. Definitely should have healed. Oh my god, dude. Talk about just living through something. All right, all right, all right. Well, you're tapped out of mana now, but hopefully you can survive enough battles to get me to the save point. Rats that I didn't buy a set of cat claws for um, Alba. Ooh, a mithril knife. No, we've got a bow on our old friend Glaive, although it's nice to have the options. <sighs> I really hope in the next couple of places that there is like one of those pots that I can just refill my health and um, MP with, because those are the ideal areas to grind. Not necessarily because the enemies give you more experience, just because it is way less of a screw around to um, heal up. Okay, come on now, you can manage one more Noct. Literally one more. Why don't you be... Oh, it's gonna make him be a little bit selfish, but no, nah, that'll be fine. Heal everybody just a little bit. Nose. But seriously, we really, um, we really do need like a, a save point and to sleep in a tent in the haunted forest of death. Um, maybe just use a couple of these. There we go. That gets the immediate concern out of the way. 
I think we're probably most of the way through this place. Oh crap. Well, this is obviously the way to go and not where I really want it to go. why we have a bunch of these. Come on, there's gonna be one more treasure. There isn't, there isn't one more treasure. appearance doesn't frighten you? No. D do my eyes deceive me? Is it really... Of all the things... Looks like Noct spooked the ghost. Does this make you some kind of reverse ghost whisperer? <laughs> Okay, first of all, because I really want to get that, those weapons and magic and everything, but, I mean, the weapons and armor, but, you're not welcome here, Knave. Oh, that's not cool. Nay, beards, laddies, nor ye lassies, neither. We dwarves, ye, dwarves, yet all get beards, men and women alike. Ye dirty humans cannot meet with the Elder. I will allow it. Well, I don't think you're going to get much of a choice, buddy. Humans! Rally ho! Your ilk magics nay work on me, human. I be needing a new Highland dance partner since me old one erred her leg in the last year's tourney. You know any dances, do ya? Your Avalon spies, I can see it in your eyes. Ooh. No, just humble thieves. I don't care who sent you. The village elder nay be meeting with your humans. You cannot fool us dwarves with your blithe smiles. I don't really know what that means, buddy. Mr. Penty Hat? You be daft! Nobody about here with that name. Oh, candle. Yoink. Oh, there's no place for your humans. I mean, you say that, but you got all this free stuff lying around. been many a generation that we leave in all an awe fit cove be near about in the la in the lawn is gracious perfect gift for your dwarf that made like six percent sense and not much more oh not allowed to sleep at the inn because we're hated by dwarves this is racism man Oh, 
I mean, it's not like we just came in here and started stealing everything we could find. Get our grubby little human mitts on. Oh, four grand. <laughs> Let's talk to him. You not look like you be from the Empire, so tell me, what you want with Kokol, leader of the dwarves? Give Kokol Queen Silk's missive. What's this now? A writ from Queen Silk herself. Let me take a good look at this. So you threw your lot in with the elves, did you? <laughs> if the queen place faith in you, then so will we dwarves. That's a queen for you. All right, time to kick butt and take names. Don't be so hasty, lass. I said we place our faith in you, not that we take up axe and sword. With all respect, we... Belief in battle done always cross paths. You best look elsewhere for aid. But seeing what Her Majesty has written about you, I think on an ancient dwarven prophecy. When the land waxes dim in midnight's embrace, four warriors of light shall bring dawn apace. Dawn apace? Is this guy for real? Prophecies have a way of coming true, Alba. I'm just saying, a healthy shovel full of skepticism never harmed anyone, sweetie. Indeed. Kokel, a word, if you please. Can you tell us anything about the ghastly knight in the Umberwood? He's be like a spirit of those who were killed at Castle Falgabard. What's with that look? You're being even more of a drag than usual. Tefalgaba, <laughs> is it? Well, you need to pass through the cove to the east. I cannot help you, but to give you a bit of advice. Avalon has eyes and ears everywhere. Don't let your guard down for one minute. We appreciate your time, Elder. I shall instruct the dwarves to treat you with civility. Should you need supplies or information, all you need to do is ask a rune. I like him. He's a champ. Valgabard, eh? <laughs> well, I guess Noct is probably the Prince of Falgabard, judging from all those reactions. Let's get our magics. I see new magics! God, that teleport is such a useful magic. Um, probably get equipment before anything, right? Did we get new job points? I forget. No, we did not. Not yet. Um, alright. Mithril shield? Sure, I'll take one. Green beret. The guy's hat. Vests. Yep, this is going to be where I run out of money. Oof. Um, equipment. Knocked. Green Beret. Mithril Vest. Mithril Bangle. Mithril Shield. Let's see if we can squeeze a bit of money out of stuff that we already have. We have two long swords and one iron sword we can sell. We have one rattle axe we can sell. We have one oaken staff we can sell. Tamer's whip. Oh, 
it doesn't look like much now, but it's gonna add up to maybe a new weapon or two. drop a couple of these. I will always be one of those gamers that wants to have at least one of everything. Steel shields, there's another thousand. And I think we're nearly done. There's another thousand. There's another two thousand. Hell yeah, dude. I think we might actually be able to afford a decent weapon. Why are there two of yous? We be checking our inventory still, laddies. You make sure to come back later. Oh. Oh. Dark Sword. That's gonna be yours, Albo. Well, I'll buy two of those. Decisions, decisions. I think it's probably a better idea to go with buying one of these. And then. I need 200 more dollars. Um. Done. Flame, ice, thunder. Let's go with an ice bow. Now that means that the only person that got screwed out of a weapon was knocked himself. Yeah, that was probably worthwhile. But he still got a great sword, and great swords are, you know, pretty great. <laughs> so bad, dude. So bad. All right, um, let's, oh, we can't even rest. Well, it looks like I've got some grinding to do. So lovely, annoying grinding too. So even more lovely, but I am gonna call that an episode there. So if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And if you like my series, you like this series, you like RPGs, or if you just like my voice, Go check out Shade Plays on our homepage. There's also Grim and Arcs playlists there as well, and our multiplayer stuff, and our other segments. But yeah, we played through a lot of stuff, so go check it out. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching.